So one of the main core principles that underpins every single thing that I do in my own personal journey of healing and also the ones that I work with with my clients pins on this idea that I'm going to share with you uh, in a minute. And the reason that this is so important is because the way that healing is talked about a lot of the time in the wider world, you will have come across two forms of thought. The main is uh, that we have trauma, big trauma, big T trauma or little T trauma, which we need to work on, which there's going to be things that you need to do, have to overcome, things like that. Hi, Sarah. And then there's going to be the other part, which is more the new age, the more listening to your intuition, your inner guidance, creating a life that you love, more self-love and things like that. These two camps often live separately and this camp over here often says all you need to do is love and this camp over here often says what you need to do is go inwards, figure it out, work on your trauma, release your trauma and they sit separately and what I've come to realise over my own personal journey, so everything that I teach and coach and do is embodied, everything that I talk to you about that I work with with my clients is because that I've been through it too and I've tried it tried it I've experimented with it I've worked it out I've sat with it and then I've worked with my clients with it and refined it to the point where it makes the most sense and what we need to do is bring these two aspects together unify them as if they are equally as important within the experience of becoming what some people call whole. What I want to describe it as is the essence of you. There is the essence inside of you that is absolutely undeniably uh, yours to, to reconnect with. And I, let me explain. So the first concept that I want to talk about is the box. And the box is, this is the essence of you. This is the part of you that's always been there. And from the earliest age, you've been you, <laughs> right? And you haven't been anybody else. And what you've been wanting to do, you're hardwired to want to explore more of who you are, get to know who you are, uh, explore your passions, your desires, uh, and you're here to have your needs met because we all fundamentally want to be and need to be loved for who we are, unapologetically for who we are. So we have needs for attention, for love, for kindness, for care, for boundaries, for being witnessed and validated, for being corrected and um, shown a different way. And so much of what we needed as children is, a, is to do with being coached. There's a role that I think parents, um, learn on the go which is to become a coach of their own children to ask them questions and explore who they are but this part that i'm talking about the essence the part of you that is so you gets told very early on that it's not okay to be shown one way or another you may have never even thought about this but it's this is the part of you that was told you were not enough, you weren't good enough, you've either had trauma that's affected this part of you or thought forms or experiences. Just by being alive in society, the status quo of our society means that we have to self-reject in order to conform. So what we do is we put a little box around our hearts we safe keep it, we keep it there for safekeeping. We know that this is the most sacred part of who we are and it needs looking after. Like with the entirety of our being, we know that this is the part of us that needs protecting. And so each time something happens, we develop defense mechanisms, coping strategies, mechanisms that keep us being able to be part of this world because we still need to interact, otherwise we die, whilst looking after this part of us that is so tender and sacred and important. And over time, 
because we don't learn, okay, at some point during our childhood that we have to reconnect to this part of us, because this is also the part of us that has purpose, meaning, um, shows us what we like, what we don't like, what we need, what we don't need, what we want, what we don't want. This is the part of us that creates joy, that creates happiness and connection and relationships that feel encouraging and delightful and intimate. This is where our creativity and our intuition is. But we have to close it off to look after it. And just like Brené Brown says, you can't numb out the bad feelings without numbing out the good ones too. And this is what the box is. It's a form of numbing out self-protection. And so trauma work looks at how do we help this box release its hold around? How do we stop the armoring, which is what the box is, how do we stop the armoring from developing and growing and reinforcing? Because at some point this becomes our identity. We forget because we haven't had enough practice we forget who this is and we identify with who this is. And over time, we automatically think that this is who we are, but it's not. And well, that is one of the core principles of this work that you and I are going to do together. Or that if you're ever interested in working with me or if you've worked with me already, you'll know that I hold this vision of you, this whole vision, unapologetically true that you are you and that you have some coping mechanisms, some trauma, some strategies that are, is holding you in place for your survival. Then we work on releasing that. So this can become <laughs> this. And what's interesting about the essence of who you are is that it has a signature and energy, a force field, a magnetism that has, that attracts and repels the things that you want that you don't want. It is what manifesting is all about. When you're not manifesting the things that you want, it is because you are manifesting from this place without realizing that you're seeing the world through the lens of the box. Manifesting, when you really are connected to the essence of who you are, becomes just a normal flow of life. That is your existence. That is who you are. It just happens. Synchronicities happen from this place. Abundance happens from this place. And it's not that it can't happen from the other place. It's just this is you in flow. This is you happening, expanding, being joyful, being creative, being inspired. Inspired is a really important point because when you're in fear with the box around the heart, you can't have anywhere near as much clear inspiration as you do when you're here, which is when you talk about being um, in a sticky point in life when something's really happening. If you go into fear, it really challenges your ability to receive the inspiration in order to make an interesting or healthy move and to move into a different space. Anyway, that's a beside the point. We'll come back to that another time. What we want to do is integrate, transmute the lessons that the box has shown us. It's there because it's part of the status quo. We are beings having this kind of experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. If that resonates with you, you'll know that part of being a human at this time means that you cannot go through life without reinforcing a box around the essence of who you are. It's absolutely impossible. You can't do it. And so this is the journey. The journey is to integrate, to learn, to understand what the box is and learn, understand what the essence of you is. So that includes connecting to your intuition, your inner guidance, the love of who you are, your gifts, your challenges, what you're good at, what you're not good at, self-acceptance, valuing yourself. And we do that step by step by step. It's not an all-in-one job. This is a, um, an experience a journey. You know the hero's journey? 
This is what this is about. The hero's journey is about recognizing that there's a situation that needs some attention and going towards something better or different or upgraded or up leveled and you learn stuff about yourself along the way and so this is what we're doing this is the essence of who you are this is what we're here to do is to this whole journey going from that to this that's what it's all about to recognize that you are absolutely beautifully perfectly made that there was never anything wrong or broken about you that you were there waiting <laughs> you're all along waiting for the opportunity oh fred wants to be involved the opportunity to reconnect to let go to find ways to be safe enough to let the armor down and that's what i'm here for that's what i do that's my speciality to hold the space for the essence of you to feel safe enough to come out and we use practical tools because you can't just do this on a women of prayer you can't just say i'm going to love myself into this space it doesn't work especially for those of us who don't even have a known experience of what love truly was to start off with so how can we how can we know to embody love if we didn't really know it in the first place that and that's a reality for many of us maybe not you maybe you i don't know but for many of us we don't know what that is so you have to learn what love is too what that feels like trust it accept it believe it believe that love is actually possible and because i have done this journey and i'm still on this journey i understand what it takes to get to this point i understand what this looks like at this point too the cat has decided his favorite thing to do right now is to eat the cardboard box that's the essence of the cat i don't know why he's doing that anyway let me just encourage him to leave <laughs> I want you to really start to explore the possibility that this is you too, that this is you waiting to happen, that the journey from the box around the heart to the essence of who you are is ready. And if things are going haywire in your life, if things are not working out quite, quite right, like you think you should, they should, or you're feeling like this sense of control, or you're feeling lost, is because your heart, the essence of who you are, is aching to come out. It's aching to be shared, to be explored. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. We're here to do this journey. That's it. Not to earn shit ton of money, although that is a byproduct. Not to do all of these um, things that the status quo tell us that we're here to do you're here to do your life your way and in order for you to do that we do this journey and that's what roots is about roots is about the journey the bit in between how do we go from the box around the heart to living the essence of who we are that journey in the middle that's what i'm here for that is my life's work that is my calling my purpose my passion when I sit in the essence of who I am, that's what it's calling me to offer, to do, to share, to talk about. So this is what this uh, account is all about, right? This journey here. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing a lot more about this as we go on because it's important. I want to hear how you are. Leave your comments, messages, reach out to me. If this resonates, if this resonates with you in any way, let me know. I want to hear from you. All right. Take care. Have a lovely day and keep believing in yourself. <laughs>